contractor. Contract is just another name for a hired gun or a, an assassin or a hitman, whatever you want to call it, really. It's all the same thing. It's all the same job. But around here, freelancers like myself, we're called contractors. We're not the most liked profession. I can understand why. I mean, we're going we're gonna to work for any side that's going to pay us. So we're not really the most trusting business, you know. But one thing I can tell you is that the real difference, and there is a difference, between contractors and just any other hired gun or hitman or assassin is that we operate under the three pillars of killing. Basically, what this means is that, is that a hit is categorized into three types. The message, the mask, and the disappearing act. The message, message is violent, rough, gruesome, not a torture. That's there basically to display the target's wrongdoings. And then you get the, you get the mask. The mask which is basically a, a hit or a death manufactured into something entirely different. Something like an accident or a suicide or even a murder perpetrated by a coworker family member, friend, spouse, whoever. And then the disappearing act finally is basically, basically just getting rid of the target, disposing of the target, leaving no trace or no evidence that this event even happened. Boom, it's one, two, three. That's what the so-called uh, professionals are operating on nowadays, you know. I guess you could call it the new standard. What can I say? Strange society. fun. I mean, above all else, the number one reason that I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing it for blood. Hmm. Hound, 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 hound. God, hound, hound is a goddamn joke. Uh, the guy doesn't even resemble a fighter, not even remotely. Uh, Christ, he's even worse as a contractor. <laughs> Man, he's a complete embarrassment to my profession. 
And you know what the fucking worst part about it is? In certain circles, uh, they're starting to compare me and Hound, you know? Like we're equals. <laughs> so you know what? If you want to bet on it, you go right ahead. That's fine. Be my guest. I can promise you one thing. I'm going to make an example out of him. Hmm? I'm going to bleed him. city's dominated by uh, trafficking. So, the law of the city ain't exactly the law of justice. It's a lot of business. That's moving uh, drugs, guns, booze, <laughs> people. You know, these, these families and syndicates, they got some smart guys running them. Uh, the trick is to find something that they all need. Something that's never going away. You know, and the one thing you can count on, I'm I mean, like, the one thing you can always count on. There's always going to be a need for killing. But with contractors being such hated things, they can be hard to operate freely. For example, in certain areas, a hide gun is killed on sight just to ease tensions. They see an unfamiliar nigga with a pistol in his pants, and they don't hesitate to drop him. No gun, no threat. That's how they see it. Shit, I, I can't blame them, you know, there's, there's way too many contracts. Everyone's always looking over their shoulders. So that's why a cover story is a fucking necessity. And that all depends on the hunter's imagination. <laughs> you can imagine 
Some are more glamorous than others. You know, there's uh, club promoters, taxi drivers, car mechanics, musicians. <laughs> Shit, nigga, there's even an ice cream man, you know, and they all operate as those covers. They might not do the job, but they sure as fuck can look like it and act like it. You know, you, you can find any angle there is. You just need imagination. Catch what I'm saying? Like, all right, any nigga out there can pick up a gun and start dropping bodies. But in the end, your business and your survival are only as good as your imagination. So, if you want to be ahead of the game, then you better be one creative motherfucker. There is a, uh, there's a big misconception to this whole thing, okay? It's not what people think it is. It's, uh, it's actually nothing like it. Because people, like, they have this way of, of making something into more than what it actually is, you know? Um, like they want it to be more exciting or, or more dramatic. I mean... I, that's that's just what the mind does. The mind has a tendency of doing that. And I can guarantee whatever you're thinking right now is a lot more action-packed. And I mean, why wouldn't it be? You know. I mean, think about it. Like in the movies and shit, uh, they make everything seem so easy. Like I can't shoot the tires out of a moving vehicle. That's just not gonna happen. Okay. I'm not going to do any dumb cop movie bullshit. I'm a great shot. I mean, I don't doubt that I could probably do that, but I'm not going to risk it. What I'd rather do is find out where you're sleeping and, you know, not have to break a sweat to do my job. <laughs> what was that thing? Uh, yeah. Nothing is what you think it is. I uh I once heard contractors described as um as judgment. You know, I mean it's a great light to put us under, but it could not be further from the truth. You know, the old timers they passed the sentence, you know, we just carried out. So, I mean, there's no right, there's no wrong. There's just profit, okay? And with no profit, there's no point. We're, uh, we're, we're not any kind of uh, judgment, no. We're the last action to a decision. And if that decision doesn't come with a payment, we don't move. But I'll tell you, when we do move, we're like ghosts. Nothing else. Alright? To everyone in the city... We don't eat, we don't sleep. We just carry out the mission. See, I'm not connected to anything, so I could vanish like I was never here, you know? Life is pretty easy for me. I'm a very, very simple man, okay? It doesn't take much to make me happy, just a, uh... A box of bullets and uh, an envelope full of cash. I guess I never contemplated the connection because it was already kind of obvious. 
we're very talented at what we do. We all just have very different styles. You know, we're uh, different musicians. I mean, I've met all sorts of contractors, and although we may be vastly fucking different in style, I think we understand the hunt in the same way. I think we know exactly what the real hunt is and how it feels in our bones. You know, the electricity it puts in our bodies. You know, everything moves with this unparalleled precision, you know. Everything's faster than fucking lightning, but to us, it's not fast enough. It can't catch up to us. There's no fog. There's no confusion, no chaos. It's just clear. It's like having lightning run through you. Fucking running through your legs, moving down your arms, into your hands, fingertips. Between the 12th and 13th century, there were these assassins for the Persian Empire called Hashishin. <laughs> and well, you know, the name probably gives away a lot. But they were known for smoking insane amounts of hash before the killings. You know, they, these cats operated like shadows. You know, moving from one place to another, unseen, unheard. Uh, eliminating religious and political figures without a fucking trace. I mean, it's inspiring, really. Yeah. And empires come and go. Some smarter than others, but one thing they all have in common is their need for assassins. A train killer. I'm talking a motherfucking head-hunting machine. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a high commodity. This is viewed however it's going to be viewed, am I right? I mean, a lot of people don't like our line of work. I think the only people that actually like us are the ones that can joke around. I mean, really joke around. The, the funny guys, the fucking comedians, you know? <laughs> I don't know why that is. I think we deserve a lot more respect than we're given. I mean, we're the ones breaking our balls to get the work done. We move mountains. I mean, what is everybody else doing? Uh, they're sitting on their hands, talking about nothing until the sun goes down. And then comes up, and then goes down again. And you know I'm right. <laughs> but what's really funny, a uh, thing they don't know is, and and what all the old timers are all afraid of is that uh, we get a full on education out of it, you know? Like, I'm not kidding, like, beyond anything that can be taught, you know? It's a, it's a kind of trial by fire, you know? You, you, you learn as it progresses. And if you're not smart, then you get your head caved in. Or worse. <laughs> Law of the jungle, right? <laughs> but I have passion for it. You know? I feel complete enlightenment through the chase. and uh, or, or maybe not just the chase, but the... Uh, the victory that goes with it. 
you know, to, to do what you love is a very rare thing nowadays. And uh, I don't think a day goes by where I'm not fucking smiling. <laughs> if you see me, I'm, I'm usually grinning. <laughs> you know, I'm, a, I'm allowed to be myself. Do what I was made to do. So if I had to think about it, I'm, I'm always happy when I'm working. And when I'm not working, well, <laughs> I'm having fun. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's in the action, you know. Like uh, it's only when I'm operating in the field. I don't know about you, but uh, I feel kind of anxious when I'm not in the moment. You know what I mean? Hell, I'm much more comfortable in battle than anywhere else. <laughs> So, uh, at the end of the day, I'm fucking very fortunate to be who I am. Fucking grateful. <laughs> I can do all sorts of fun things. You know what I mean? the Calabrese's and Morello's waging war over various ports used for smuggling their cargo through the state and to their customers. Uh, nothing new there, but uh, the syndicates that operate in this district really stand out for the scope of their influence. Uh, much like the cartels of Mexico, the top syndicates of Rhode Island have really uh, ingrained themselves in the state's politics uh, to the point where they possess immense authority. Our families have also uh, streamlined themselves by diversifying to a broad range of activities. Well, other than they're enterprising in trafficking, and they're also involved in extortion, uh, they're involved in kidnapping and, uh, and murder at a, uh, on a really steady rate. And, well, you can't forget about another profitable business of theirs, uh, these uh, militarized assassins known as contractors. I mean, the, the use of these young and well, very trained hit squads has really changed the way in which these uh, major syndicates operate. Syndicates like the Calabresi family, the Badens, and the Morellos, and you know, a dozen other high-ranking businesses just like them have uh, expanded rapidly across Rhode Island and have uh, really, really carved out their own separate empires, subscribed to the rule of uh, escalation. We live the good life. I think we live faster than most people. I mean, that's why we like to have fun. I mean, contractors, they see and do the heavy work. 
uh, shadow work. I'm a regular shadow walking, snake charming motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I, I've seen and done enough things to know that living the good life, or what some people call the material life, well, I don't know how else to put it. It's our reward, you know? I mean, we want the best of everything. We deserve it. Everything that I own, I earned it. I earned it through my talent. Sure, contractors don't have the best reputation. People see us as backstabbers, cutthroats. We're the men without honor. And that's why we enjoy what we can. There's other upsides, though. This line of work makes drugs, women, a lot of fun stuff very accessible. This line of work is full of fun stuff. I guess what I'm trying to say in the end is this job made me appreciate life. I know a lot of people, they don't value what they got, but contractors do. Sure, we may be a bit fucking off, but we're a lot of fucking fun. <laughs>
us strictly business it, it it's always just business i mean that that should be clear there's no bad blood no vendettas no worries you know contractors are probably the only ones in the business without a reason to complain <laughs> shit nigga what's great for us more blood more money see because we we profit from conflict and to tell you the truth you ain't got to be in a war to find conflict it exists everywhere this place is perfect for it. I fucking love it. We're not involved. We're not connected. We get a name. What needs to be done? We just smooth things out. Now, there's no room for emotion. I mean, the machine works way too good the way it is. No need to go changing anything. It's funny though, you know. You got to keep things light. And I mean, I. I guess what I'm saying is, you know, enjoy everything you can. Don't get bent out of shape about anything, you know. I mean, sure, get your hands dirty, but it's plain and simple. It's, uh, you gotta be ambitious. Take some chances. Fortune favors the bold. There's something I learned. It really fucking does. issued U.S. Treasuries. Considered to be one of the most secure financial bets, however, a default would cast doubt on the value of those assets and throw the global financial system further into chaos, reintroducing bank failures, private defaults, and massive layoffs. Still, the business world isn't entirely unprepared. Big U.S. companies have began hoarding cash since the financial crisis for fear of another credit crunch, and financial regulators, major banks, and mutual funds have moved to shore up their defenses. Our current financial crisis is the worst the world has seen since the Great Depression, but that doesn't mean it won't be dealt with. It is in no way out of our control, and it will be handled with the utmost professionalism. Our financial system is wounded, our um, uh, confidence has been shaken, but order will be asserted. Decisive actions will be taken to stabilize our economy. Uh, these actions will be a swift and necessary precaution to assure the market and its investors. Uh, I can assure you, uh, America has the hardest working infrastructure has always proven its resilience time and time again.
In this business, you may think there are certain boundaries, certain morals to be upheld, um, honors to go untarnished. I can tell you right now that there is no limit to what we can do. <laughs> and with no limits, your imagination can run pretty wild. So, if you think there are some things that just can't be done, you know, some places where no one should go, then you need to find a new line of work because this whole thing, this house of cards, it's held together by blood. Sooner or later, whether you like it or not, you're going to come to a standstill. Yeah. Before you can think, before you can even comprehend what's happened, a decision's going to be made. And you'll either rise or fall. And if you're not ready, if you're not faster than the next guy, well, I can guarantee you, when it all comes down, you're going to feel nothing but heat. And in, in a flash, your whole life and everything in it will disappear like it never existed. First and foremost, you gotta free your mind of thought. Sounds easy, but I mean you have to eliminate the entire concept of thought. Thinking's only gonna slow you down and restrict the fluidity of action and reaction. You know, if your thought process, if you're locked into this tactical, formulaic plan, then your opponent's gonna win every single time. All right, Nick, I'll cue in on a little secret here. The best fighter will always be the one who transcends. Catch what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is general misconception in the fighter's mentality, which is the belief of planned conflict, of uh, orchestrated combat. But <laughs> the art of fighting is fucking cemented in chaos. Its whole entire essence was born in mayhem, <laughs> uh, crafted in confusion. You know, in battle, you gotta exist in the unpredictable, you know. You exist in this, uh, this mindset when you're locked in, you're fluent and unparalleled, you know, in this perfect state of consciousness, because well, you're not thinking. You're not thinking of anything. You're just completely aware of everything around you. And to be in it, or to see it happen, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.